Hey guys, Ryan here, and in this video, I'm going to be covering how to install and use a TeamViewer on Ubuntu and ArchBase Linux distributions. So, for people that don't know, TeamViewer is a cross platform remote assistance software, and it's what I typically use when I'm helping out family members with computer problems. Now, I tend to use TeamViewer mainly because it allows me to remote in from my Linux boxes to their Windows based machines. Plus, since it's cross platform, and it does mean that TeamViewer officially supports several popular Linux distributions, including Ubuntu, Debian, SUSE, Fedora, and Red Hat. So the installation process for TeamViewer will differ depending on your Linux distribution. As I mentioned earlier in this video, I'm going to be covering the installation process for both Ubuntu and Arch-based distributions, and let's start with the former. So if you're running Ubuntu, then the easiest way to download and install TeamViewer is to go to the download page on TeamViewer's website, and scroll down to the section where it says TeamViewer Full Client. Then double click on the option here where it says x86 64-bit. And what this will do is download a TeamViewer dev file to your system. Once that's downloaded, to install this file, all you need to do is double click on it. And this will open up in Ubuntu software. So from here, just install the package as normal. And once the installation process is finished, simply launch TeamViewer from the application launcher. Now, when it comes to Arch-based Linux distributions such as Manjaro and DevOS or Vanilla Arch, then the process is a bit more involved as there's not an official installer available for our TeamViewer. However, it is possible to install TeamViewer from the AUR or the Arch user repository if you use what's known as an AUR helper. And my recommendation on that is to use Yay or yet another yogurt. No idea why it's named after that, but I'm sure someone will tell me the reason for that in the comments section below. Now, I'm not going to cover the installation process of Yay on this particular video, but I am going to leave a link to the project's GitHub page just so you can follow on from there. In either case, once you've installed Yay on your system, then we can install TeamView using the single following terminal command. And that command is Yay space dash S and then the word TeamViewer. And once the installation process is finished, there's just one more thing we need to do, and that's to enable the accompanying TeamViewer service, which we can do with the following two terminal commands. sudo system ctl start TeamViewer d. And the second command, which is sudo system ctl enable TeamViewer d. At this point, we can finally launch TeamViewer from our application launcher. And as you can see, the interface is very much similar to if you were using this on Windows. But in either case, we're all done. So in conclusion, TeamViewer is a fantastic cross-platform remote software application, and it's one that I use quite regularly, especially when I'm assisting friends or relatives on Windows-based systems. As always, thank you very much for watching the video, guys, and if you did find it helpful, then you know what to do. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and also share the video, as that really helps me with the YouTube algorithm. Once again, thanks for watching, and no doubt I'll see you on the next video. Goodbye now.